what do you say to a man or a woman who constantly battles feelings of inferiority thoughts of suicide or habitually hearing voices telling him or her he or she is a loser who will never measure up as a husband a wife a dad a son or a child i will say roho katika unaweza kushughulikia changamoto yoyote welcome to the title that we are going to deal with today the spirit inside you can handle it this preacher by rm dulizu of marifado na roho katika unaweza kushughulikia changamoto yoyote do we have a spirit a soul or a both spirit or a soul is known as roho mwea emi consciousness is also known as kuziwa fahamu uwazi aiji kikokomeliso a demon is known as mamepo mavuri mapepo roho ya mwili this incarnate spirit the question now what kind of spirit is inside you because billions of bantus now believe in god whom they have been conditioned to believe is a spirit yet we know that spirit is a created entity this type of belief system removes powerful abilities from within and exposes you to external forces worshiping a deity or an entity and putting faith in a man made spirit destroys your natural spiritual abilities from your inner core this is a fact that we have to understand are we a spirit or a soul it is very important to know the answer if you do not know the correct logical response in other words a rest congruent answer you have lost the battle of life already deliberate confusion was introduced by others by muddying the clean knowledge that god is a being a spirit of which we bantus knew that such an entity is a deity a created entity quoted the scriptures that we have shown peculates the minds of many bantus today and shows them that the bible god is sometimes a spirit and sometimes a male sometimes angry repents orders atrocities seek to want partnership with such a spirit seeking to want partnership with such a spirit is allowing an evil spirit spirit or evil spirits and demons to possess and take control of your spirit that is inside you your natural spirit that you were given our ancestors taught that the spirit mwea roho is the same as a soul or life that there are hierarchies of spiritual entities that the real creator is not a being or even a spirit but is beyond that the inner constitution of man is pictured by our african traditional belief system goes beyond what we have been taught by the religions of judaism islam and uh, christianity in the yoruba a man in the theosophy spiritual essence a spiritual body is amen which is amen rai in inupe nigeria and in zambia is moza or muo which is vital breath or moyo or mwea or so umoya or so then the composites of all these bodies are given here the mental body ie fifin shadow shai or shiu therefore our god is not indigenous thought and behavior in africa in hermetic truth the highest supreme entity the creator of the heavens and earth and all there is and african humanity was acknowledged and sensed by our hermetic ancestors as nature ntr the term god its usage and application was formulated in europe and brought into africa by europeans whose criminal motive was to systematically remove all indigenous african concept of spirituality in other words suppressing your spirit through the monopolization of the truth about the creator and depositing it 
into a European old male with beards. Kakati ba ab kai bitishu shao shekem renu is the soul or this is the soul. Melanin dominant physical body what is known as Bantu or Muntu. You are a dual entity in general. A physical body of which inside is a soul. And within the soul is a spirit which is a single aspect of the nine that we can define today. The key word here is ba ntu, ba soul, representing all this. And in two, representing the flesh that we can visually see, which is the bones, the blood, as well as the flesh. Ancestrally and totemically inherited from a certain line. This soul is but a composite divine spark with the different aspects each of which has its own role to play in the journey of earthly life and afterlife. It is the one that has the spirit, this one, car, which is an electrochemical life force or personality or individuality that we see inside you, expressed by your character. You have only one single powerful spirit inside you. You do not need another one or an extra spirit this is the spirit that you must have car is in the bar as an aspect of you a composite so that you will not be deceived every religion has copied the african traditions the jews stole and named it kabbalah and said there are 10 aspects adding one to the nine now we speak of men as a tenfold entity if you do the Kabbalah. The esoteric traditions of India uh, provide a lot of terminology of modern theosophy and the new age philosophy. Teach variously of four or five or seven aspects or parts that makes a human or man. Which tradition now synchronizes with your race? That's your key for your most powerful spirit inside you and you need to follow that key that cue because it gives you existence you have heard people say that we are a spirit we have a soul we live in a body and this is the trichotomy that you are taught this is the source of ideas like the suche or the psych where you get psychology interestingly this is a greek or roman confession once you do this and believe this you are following a greek or roman confession interestingly this equation also originates in Hellenistic theories of the soul directly traceable to pre-Platonic or Pythagorean as well as early Platonic theories of the soul. You can also read the Phaedo, also known as On the Soul and the Republic, written by Plato, to see where the system of thought like this originated from. Plato's theory of the soul is presented in his book, The Republic. You can find those books and read. You are not a tri trichotomy, you are a soul. What spirit must be inside you? The original teaching insists that you are an ancestral product. The original creation narrative shows an African prototype. The car shown here and the bar shown here and the arc, which is the character that is made when you live a life that is cultural congruent and you build this for you this is the ku and this is the kati the body and the ba also represented there that way which is the ka is in the body this has yielded many spin-off uh, derivative theories the original explanation stated that the car is activated at the instant of one's birth as they gasp for air and ignite the breathing process independent of the mother. This ignition and animating spirit is you. It is the car that starts your earthly life, a car that is the aspect of the ninefold soul, biologically passed body that has gone through successive generations carrying the spiritual force 
from the first creation. The car works with all the other aspects of the soul. There are millions of disconnected soulless entities. Soul theft via spirit corruption. What happens after the death of the physical body is crucial. Naturally, the soul must freely enter the spirit world properly. There are lots of competing forces and your current life may block your transitioning. So, you stay on the earthly plane, a, a misfortune for which uh, there are many reasons. On one hand, the religions uh, that are not a race congruent to you via their funeral services cajole you to their artificially created holding cells and they may attach to other human uh, beings or to locations, false alien paradise or artificially intelligent transhuman state. Now, let's look at uh, mental illness. Since you have got a spirit and a soul, what are the causes of mental illnesses? The brain and the central nervous system would have generally become unhealth from physical and spiritual abuse, which is caused largely by wrong foods and drinks, witchcraft, old age, wrong education, political pressure, poverty induced by religious zealotry, technologically induced, failure to adhere to culturally congruent norms, culturally congruent relationships, and disconnected from natural ancestry, and ignoring the divinities. The car, then, is no longer in control, but subsides as other entities take over, and the brain starts to malfunction. How does another spirit possess you? Through many rituals that energizes disincarnate spirits, hearing loud voices in your head and having serious uncontrollable mood swings. The brain is like a receiver which receives information from external sources through senses such as sight, sound, touch, smell, and taste. Demon possession is not an intracellular occupation of a human body. In other words, another being does not really occupy the same space that your spirit occupies in your physical body but it's called demon attachment it attaches to you via other system instead of demon possession is about an entity taking control of your worldview and you but all oh, allow it to suppress your car and it starts to ride you and take control by influencing directing or overriding all other faculties it's like hacking into one's mental computer and taking control. How do you know this has or is an alignment of your mind to a false god or false divinity? Or you are experiencing a new worldview that you have never been given or which has been slowly given to you. A life that is not cultural congruent, a melanin dominant human who fervently supports a religion or spirituality or philosophy that destroys or destroyed their ancestors and is detrimental to their race or allows this to start to happen or is happening must know that another spirit is seeking to attach itself to them or to you and is aiming to take over or has already taken over and engulfed your life. And uh, this is the some of the entities that come and occupy you and take your control and start to charge and uh, run your life. It possesses you, it's an alien spirit, it's anti you, and it wants your soul, it wants your energy, it wants the car, it wants the bar, it wants the car tea to take over and therefore if you have this spirit inside you you are possessed by an alien foreign spirit it is attached to you and then it possesses you but it's external of you it's not internal it's not inside you it's around you as in your aura and as your energy you still have your mind you still have your spirit you still have your soul but it has been suppressed and uh, 
is not longer in charge. There are some entities that are created by modern satanic rituals that involve human sacrifices in wars, planned genocides, accidents, and assassinations. And uh, we call this satanism, but in truth, they are disincarnate souls or disincarnate spirits that are created and uh, positioned like you see here in various buildings on earth and also rituals performed on earth all of them lead to the empowerment of these disincarnate spirits that eventually are sent to occupy the minds of many these attached spirits can affect people in other ways too uh, mentally fatigue depression relationship difficulties addictions or irrational behaviors also the sign of all that is hearing loud voices inside you indicates that an attachment is occurring. And however, this depends with what that voice says. Now, you have to become an Ausari. Uh, this is from Sensoet to 1800 BCE. In Cushitic Kemetic spiritual science, it is taught that the African is a netta. A divinity however it is not saying that you are born a divinity you have to become a divinity it is in the same way that a seed is potentially a tree but it cannot call itself a tree until it has dug itself deep into the rich soil of the earth to eat of its nutrients and absorb the rainwater from heaven and thereby becoming a tree in this same way the African is potentially a divinity, but only if he or she develops himself or herself into one. This is the role of Marifado, to assist the Bantus to arise and also to culturally become congruent and racially congruent so that your car does, is not suppressed and when you die, you do not become a disincarnate spirit or a disincarnate entity. Applied true knowledge of self activates the car. And uh, it is important that you must know that you have all the tools inside you to handle any situation. Roho katika unaweza kakushulikia changa moto yoyote. You have to handle any situation. Join the club. Join the clan. This picture is by L.M. Dumizulu saying, if you are interested in all this, send us an email on join at marifado.com. Till we meet again, salani kase, asante sana.